Guys, I'm super tired, but I did come home from my awesome trip to Saltzman's in Rhode Island. They were a great host out there, and uh, I have like, I got watches I need to open, but this one, um, I, I mean, I really want to open all of them, right? But <laughs> this one I've been excited to get uh, shipped to me because I picked this, I bought this one when I was in San Francisco wind-up show when um, my buddy, Mr. John showed me his, and I had seen pictures of it and everything like that, but handling it, that's a different story, right? And I had hands on there, and I, I literally, as we were sitting there talking, I ordered one. Um, so, uh, and then I'm, I'm texting with my buddy, uh, Mr. G. Wood, and uh, he's like, well, which one is it? Let me see. And I'm like, you're going to make me go open the darn thing, aren't you? He's like, yes. So I dragged my butt down here and opened this thing up. So here it is. It is a Timex that, I mean, at least I know I was sleeping on this one. Sleeping as in not giving it the attention that it deserves. Um, I don't know if everyone else is. Hey, they, you, look at, guys, Timex, thank you. Look at this little yellow tab right here. They're like, hey, grab right here. And the wrapping is no longer your nemesis. Everybody else needs to give me a little yellow tab. Timex is doing it right. The only other, only other thing that would be even better is if they just didn't wrap it, period. But I, I understand it's a new product, so they want to keep it wrapped up. So this is an automatic. Is there, is there something on the back here? I think there is. Yeah, there is. And then there's a couple other little stickers there. Those always leave low residue, so I'll clean those up in a second. But it's a Timex Marlin. I don't know what the red line is. So if you know what the red line is for, let me know. I don't know if it's just like a little decorative thing or something. But uh, you can see the uh, rotor, the skeletonized rotor there in the Miyota movement. But just a good, clean layout on this thing. No, I'm not going to wipe it with my thumb. I'm trying to break myself of that habit. has blue-colored hands. I'm sure they're not thermally blue. They're probably just painted or something. Nice silver dial. And then it has a 24-hour sub-register here over at the 9 o'clock. You have your date. Um, it's just a good, clean, little stainless steel watch. Um, how much was it? I don't remember. I think it was around 200 bucks, something like that. There's the part number. I'll put a link in the description to Timex. And their straps are actually pretty good. This one says SP Foot Tanning Company, Red Wing, Minnesota, USA. So the straps are actually pretty good, too. So there it is. Timex Marlin automatic, very cool, fun watch. Maybe check it out. It's it's not going to be a sapphire crystal, but it is a bubbled up. It's you know acrylic or something. That's fine. I'm easy on my watches, and you could probably watch and clean that up if you needed to. So, full video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.